we're back. I am pretending to work and our welder is doing the real work, but our ambulance is outside today. The roof is completely off and is dangling from the rafters. All right, so as a reminder, this used to be the top of the ambulance. Uh, the original ambulance height was uh, five foot, 10 inches. So we're gonna have a six foot, six inch roof after the roof raise. Pretty exciting. So we've got our, our radius welds in here. This is tack welded in and we'll be doing the final connection on the back later today. The sides are already wrapped up. Mr. Sawyer's doing some welding. Seven more holes, Sawyer. Well, filling the square holes is easy because these ones have an edge you have to worry about. That's fair. So we've got the last of the lights cut, ground. They are flush for the most part, but I would say this is far, far, far better than I expected. Really? Yeah, man. We got the rear plates cool. all done. And Sawyer's now filling all of the side screw holes because we'll be using three quarter inch LEDs. So nice work, Sawyer. A little oxidized right up in there. She is a 23 That's year spit old. Spit at you rig, a little right? bit. Uh, 23, yeah. Yeah. All right, so Sawyer's working inside, filling the holes. I'm gonna be cutting uh, the lights out in the rear to put a new plate in. Uh, we've already ground down some of the um, marker lights so that we can fill those in. And we'll be cleaning this window edge so that this is something we can weld against. Because right now, of course, it's covered in paint. All right, the window is spick and span. No paint present. We're using a 40 grit flapper disc to clean that off. I don't know anything about welding, but uh, Sawyer says you want to sand away from your grind point so you don't drag contaminants into the cut because then it can make your weld funky. All right, here we go. We've used a square to line up these corners. Uh, it'd be better to do a radius because it creates a stronger weld with more surface area. But we're gonna do a corner because it's easier. So we drop this down vertically and we're gonna cut all the way to the bottom of the light. All right, well, we got two big holes in the back. Spectacular. So I'm gonna come up in here, clean these up so we can weld on them. And the back is gonna be done. We've ground down the corners, and now we're gonna use CAD, cardboard aided design, to make some templates so that we can weld in our aluminum panels. We've got our cardboard in here. Make this nice and snug, and color the outline. beautiful panel that we now can you uh, turn into aluminum. Yeah! And, uh, kick the floor out and pull that thing in for the night so she's out of the rain and we'll call it good for the day. Nice. So today we filled all the rest of the light holes. There was triple screws around the running lights so we filled in the outside. Uh, cut the back out of the brake light area and cut the front off of the roof. He's home, boys. So we got the roof on. 
Got the roof on. We have the C channels on. Welded on. And we could drive down the highway without it falling apart, but as you can see, the light coming through. We got a little bit of clamping and welding and about 600 rivets to go. We have a big old air gap on the front where it's the air conditioning. This is the air conditioning when we drive. And eventually will be our cab over. As uh, we've discussed before, we again, the roof ends right here. Originally, we added a 10 inch C channel from here to here. And that goes the entire length of the ambulance and the back over here. So Sawyer did all the hard work with the cutting and the grinding and the welding and the folding of metal. The roof's never coming off again unless you do all the hard work again to cut it apart. Right. I think it's plenty tall enough though. Hopefully your kids are under six foot six. I'm 5'11 and I have plenty of space just so everyone knows comfortably to stand. So this should be, this ceiling should be at six foot six inches after our roof raise, which is cool. Yeah, it's comfortable. I like it. So what I'm doing is drilling holes and then putting rivets in to connect our C channel to the top of the ambulance, original top, and the C channel to the top of the old ambulance. So we've got three rivets about every four inches. All right, so I just drilled two holes. So we're gonna clamp these together. Now we're gonna take the click fast Amazon riv nut, or not riv nut, riveter. Our kids call these rivet guns. All right, now, we just stick this in here, and it sucks it together. Master Sawyer. Oh yeah. Man, I've been doing it a long time. Taught me to put oil in a cap as opposed to spray it on. Then I can dip my drill bit in. Then you don't make it giant. Makes mess. it a lot cleaner than the big spray. and it holds a perfect, it's a little smaller than a 16th inch gap. Yeah, I was, I was actually in the store the other day looking at welders, you know, that I would buy if I was just getting started. There it is. What do you think? He's kidding. <laughs>